Hello and welcome to another Thought for the Day from New Milton Evangelical Free Church. Let's come to God in prayer this morning. Our gracious Lord, as we bow in your presence, we acknowledge that you are God. Above all, there is none like you. And we thank you and praise you that we have come to know you through Jesus Christ, your Son, who has done everything that it is necessary to do to make it possible for us to draw near to you and enjoy you forever. So speak to us now, we pray. Challenge us in our living that we may exalt and praise and bring glory to him who has given himself for us. In his name we pray. Amen. So we're moving on into chapter 5 now of Ephesians. And we're going to read this morning verses 1 to 2. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. So this is a summary couple of verses which just look back on what Paul has already been saying and try to condense into a couple of sentences exactly what he's after. So in all of the uh, rubber hits the road type exhortations, what to do in this situation, um, and he brings into the new covenant pretty well all of the, uh, the Ten Commandments, the rather raw commandments about not killing and stealing and, and so on. And he brings them right up to date in this covenant of the Spirit of God who lives in the hearts of those who are believers. So we need to bear in mind that what God is bringing us to, what he's exhorting us to do in the way that we live our lives, is nothing short of what he enables by his Spirit. You see, when you read words like this, become imitators of of God, that's a tall order, isn't it? How could you possibly seek to live up to that? And when you think that the word imitator is the Greek word from which we get our word mimic, and sometimes that's used negatively, i.e. it means kind of like to take the, the, the mickey out of, to, to make fun of, uh, in, a, in a, uh, a, a way, so you're copying someone and making them look silly by your copy and that's not what's intended here this is actually following the pattern that God has set for you well how on earth literally do you do that where do you see such an example follow God's example be imitators mimics of God himself well we see it of course in Christ and when God sent his son into our world we could see in the physical life of Christ, the way that he lived amongst us, all that God intends for us to do in the way that we live. Now, of course, there was much about Jesus and what he came to do to save people from their sins, you and I. And if we know salvation, we know that that is something we can't do for ourselves. Only God can do it for us. And there is that unique aspect of the work and the life of Christ, which we could never seek to copy neither are we intended to he does for us what we cannot do for ourselves but there is also that aspect of his life where he sets an example for us and this is what paul is exhorting us to this morning live a life of love just as christ loved us and gave himself up for us so you look at jesus and you see what he did how he regarded those around him, how he treated those for whom he came, those disciples. And if you look at the beginning of John 13, you might remember those verses which say that as he came to the day before the cross, John records, having loved them from the beginning, he loved them to the end. There was no lack of love in the life of Jesus. There was no moment where, which was missing from the love schedule, if you like. And here is the example that we are to follow. So in all of these ways of behaving, which Paul has already been going through, 
These are all aspects of loving one another. So we follow the example of Christ in looking to those who we live amongst, brothers and sisters in Christ. And we live this life of love. It's the whole of our living style is in the love of Jesus Christ. And again, you might say that's a, an awful lot to ask. Well, we need to remember what Paul has already said, that we have the indwelling spirit in our hearts. And what he's done inside us is to change us, to make us have hearts that love and long for Jesus. We long to please God now. We put aside these fearful, evil desires that belong to our flesh. And God has given us new desires. Uh, if you were at our service last night at the Free Church uh, at Bashley, you know that Simeon, our pastor, was talking about this. The way that God replaces our desires with what he sees and intends that we should have for him. So how does God look on all of this? If we are going to determine to live our lives in this way, Paul says this is like a fragrant offering. It's a sacrifice, just like Jesus in laying down his life for us, actually produced something that was so pleasing to God. It's like um, uh, if you know the old Bisto advert where um, the, the kids would, hear, would smell this smell of this delicious gravy wafting through the air and they would go ah bisto well this isn't bisto this is sacrifice and fragrance that delights god and that's what he wants you to produce in your life i said before seek to bring a smile to the face of god and here it is again a fragrant uh, an acceptable offering a sacrifice to god in the way that we live god enables that in you by his spirit let's pray our gracious God expand our vision so that we can see that this is what you have made possible in your new life in Christ for every believer and there is a joy and a delight in living in this way a freedom a cleanliness uh, uh, that, that actually lifts us above the commonality uh, and the mundane nature of so many around us who slog through life with a plodding attitude. We are meant to soar like eagles and your spirit can do that for us. So lift our hearts today and help us to find this strength in your spirit to live this way. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.